Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Now I am talking about this video is dock and forward engineering, water transportation, harbors and ports. These are the very very important talking about transportation engineering, dock and harbor. Okay, now I'm talking about this video step by step, and uh, step by step, step by step, and hope you are enjoying this video and exploring this video to all about your studies and all thank you and now first of all i am talking about dog what is dog in civil engineering a dog typically refers to a structure built along a waterway or shoreline that provide a platform for boats or ships to load and unload cargo or passengers Dogs can vary in size, complexity, and design depending on their intended use. The use the size of vessels they will serve. They will serve and the environmental condition of of, of the site. These are these are called dogs. We have seen here these types of dog. Okay, dogs may be dogs may be made of various materials such as wood, steel, or concrete, and may be supported by piles of or the other structure we have seen here different different types of this and this is this is made by this is made by wood wood steel and concrete also they they can also include a variety of features such as such as gangways mooring device wind fenders lighting and storage areas the design of a dock must take into account a range of factors including water depth uh, tidal tidal fluctuations, wave actions, wind vessel, and traffic. Okay. Now the next one is types of dog. What is the types of dog? Two types of dog. First is wet dog. Then second is dry dog. Now the wet. What is wet dog? In civil engineering, a wet dog is is a structure built by built by a long a shoreline or a waterway that is designed to remain that is designed to me to remain submerged in water at all times regardless of the tide where dogs are typically constructed using concrete or steel and are designed to provide a safe and protected environment for ships to dog ships to dog we have seen here in in general we have uh, assuming and we have preparing we are making a, a one path to another part to the to the river okay to the river okay typically Typically, well, dogs are typically constructed using concrete or steel and are designed to provide a safe and protected, protected environment for ships to dock, load, and unload cargo or passengers. These are called wet dog. Now, the next one is dark dog. We have seen here, including this, this photos and these images. Okay, uh, dry dog. In civil engineering, a dry dock is a type of a structure used for sea repair and maintenance that is designed to be imp, imp, imp tide of water to allow, allow ships to be lifted out of the water for repairs or inspections. A dry dock can be either a floating structure or a, fi or a fixed one, typically made of concrete, steel or wood. These typically made by concrete, steel and steel and wood dog uh wet dog is also prepared also prepared dog lot also prepared steel and concrete and designed to concrete okay dry dog is also pre also prepared and making one typically mode of concrete steel or wood these are these are called dry dog now the what is harbor what is harbor in civil engineering a harbor is a complex infrastructure that provides a safe and protected area for ships or boats to anchor load and unload load and unload cargo we have seen here these images cargo and exit and excess port facilities harbors can be, can vary in size and complexity depending on the location and is an intended use. A harbor typically includes several components such as docks, spires, deck jetties, uh, breakwater, breakwaters, and mooring facilities. These components are designed to protect the vessels from waves, currents, and wind and to facilitate safe and efficient cargo handling and transportation. These are called harbor. A harbor typically includes their components such as docks. We are preparing uh, made, made, made a docks is 
a concrete steel and a, as well okay then then wind the, these components are designed to protect vessels from waves current and wind and to facilitate safe and efficient cargo handling and handling and transportation we have using a majorly temperature we have seen here the ships majorly used in handling and transportation now classification and features of harbors and ports okay harbors and ports in water transportation docks and harbor engineering water transportation uh, harbors and ports classification feature and these are to provide an overview classification of harbors and wards classification on on class, classification of harbors and uh, and ports to provide an overview of the different types of harbors and ports used in water transportation different different types of uh, harbors first one harbors is natural harbors form, formed by natural features like like bays inlets and lagoons called natural harbors then artificial harbors what is artificial har harbors constructed by humans examples include breakwaters piers and jetties these are called artificial harbors these are very very important uh, on behalf of their colleges and universities paper what is the classification of harbors okay then the next one is fishing harbors a small harbors used for finishing and related activities are called fishing harbors then commercial harbors com commercial harbors large harbors used for imports exports and other commercial activities called commercial harbors then last but not the least military harbors harbors used for harbors used for navy ships and related military activities called military harbors okay now the next one is key feature of harbors key feature key feature for harbors and ports and the, then types of dock and jetties breakwaters expl explanation con concept importance in harbor and port designs then structure built perpendicular to a uh, shoreline protect harbors and ports from wave action then vertical side some vertical side sided mounts mount, mounts built to absorb wave energy rubble mount breakwaters build the charge build the large stones composite breakwaters combining vertical and rubble mount designs then wave climate and energy breakwater height and length design of arbor layers and foundation the effect of uh, storm surges and sea levels these are the breakwaters explaining the concept of on behalf of civil engineering protection of ships and cargo breakwaters prevent damage to ships damage to ships and cargo caused by wave action ensuring safe and efficient trade operations in ports and harbors these are the these are these, these four types of breakwaters and these four, four properties of breakwater sorry breakwaters then the types of dock used in water transportation types of dock used in water transportation then first docks is floating docks docks that are anchored and float on the surface of the water called floating docks then pile docks docks are used piles driver into the bottom of the waterway to support the dock structure called piled called pile docks okay then creep docks docks that used docks that use are that use are wooden or concrete boxes fill the stone or gravel to support the dock structure called grip dogs then su suspension dogs dogs that are suspended from overhead cables or chains called suspension dogs then roll on roll off dogs dogs designed for loading and unloading vehicles that can provide of the dogs called roll on or roll off dogs these are the these are the five types of dogs different different types of ways and different different types of ways to use in water transportation these are types of dogs to use in water transportation now the wet and dry dogs okay then the jetties to provide an overview of the different type of jetties 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 very very important role, roles in water transportation jetties okay the first one is finger jetty a jetty that extends out into the water and and has butts or slips on both sides for boats to dock called finger jetty the next one is bulk bulk head jetty a jetty that runs parallel to the shore and is used for is for loading and unloading bulk bulk cargo is called bulk bulk head jetty then t shaped jetty a jetty that extend out into the water and a, and has a perpendicular section at the end used for longer ships to dock and load unload cargo is called t shaped jetty then the last one is pile jetty a jetty made up of piles piles driven into the sea sea bed used for smaller boats of dock called 
pulse pulse jetty. These are the types of jetties to use the water transportation with the help of water transportation. Now the next one is thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you are enjoying this video and learning behalf of this video is very 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 much. Thank you so much. If you if you if you enjoying this video, please like, share, and subscribe this channel because I am uploading. Uh, different different types of topics related to civil engineering so so you have mostly subscribed to this channel thank you so much thanks for watching thanks for watching